Hey guys, welcome back to Machine Gun Mike. So today we're going to be taking a look at this gun right here, the model 1914 Lewis gun. And what a strange and weird looking machine gun it is. It's kind of one of the things you have to keep in mind with these guns that are over 100 years old. You know, back then, they didn't completely know yet what they were going to be using these things for, let alone have them perfected. So, you know, hindsight's 2020. It's really easy to look at them now and be like, oh, that's such a stupid idea, or why did they think of that? But if you were around 100 years ago, this was cutting edge trial and error technology. So you gotta give them credit for that. And what I'll do is I will do some close up shots of this gun, and during that I'll kinda of point out some of the weird things on it. Before I do that though, real quick, I did just wanna point out that notice, I am wearing Machine Gun Mike merchandise. I do have the Lewis gun on the back of the shirt. So yes, I am doing merchandise now per a friend's recommendation, I guess, and I enjoy it. So if you are interested in getting anything like this shirt, please check out the link up above or check out the description down below. The proceeds will obviously go to helping out the channel, but a portion of the proceeds will also go to good charities and you can learn more about that on the Machine Gun Mike Facebook page. So with all that said, let's actually get back to what is really important with this video and that's this gun. So let's go ahead and do the close-up shots of it. I'll show you kind of the weird things on the gun, and then we'll do some shooting. Let's go ahead and take a close look at the Lewis gun. We'll start over at the muzzle end. Here is the front of that very large barrel shroud that helps cool the barrel. And I'll show and explain more once I get to the back side of it. Here's the front anti-aircraft sight. Totally ridiculous. And I could have taken it off for this video, but it looks cool. So why not leave it on? I will be using this regular sight though today. You can kind of see everything on this firearm can be taken off. So you're just traveling down the barrel shroud. This can also be taken off. This is the carrying handle. And when you grab it, it actually freely spins, so it will be on the top side of the firearm. There's a drum magazine. Let's see if I can get underneath it. Holds 47 rounds. And while we're back here, that right there, all those fins, that is the aluminum radiator fins that's inside the barrel shroud. Now as you fire it, it sucks air across those fins all the way through this tube out and helping cool the barrel and it actually does work weird though very weird idea and there's probably a reason why you don't really see it anymore this right here actually holds a clock recoil spring and I have a spare one sitting on this table right there that is actually the recoil spring and inside of the housing, there's some gear teeth that then attach to the gear teeth on this operating rod. And that's what cycles the gun. It's the same operating mechanism as FG42 and the M60, obviously with regular recoil springs on those. But yeah, that's one really unique thing is that clock spring. And you actually have to set the tension on it. Again, weird, but remember, over 100 years ago. And you use this tool right here to set the tension. And these are just some of the extra tools and drums and stuff that I have. So go down the rest of the gun. It's a super weird looking machine gun, but I don't know, there's just something about it. I really like it. <laughs> I think that it's uh, just a beautiful gun. Maybe because it is so weird. So let's go to the other side. kind of look down from the top. So anti-aircraft sight. Pretty cool. We won't be shooting down any planes today. That is heavily frowned upon. But I just had to have it on there for the video because it looks cool and there's nothing wrong with that. Top of the drum. So, let's go do some shooting. So to load up the drum magazine, we've got this special tool right here. Very important tool to have. And you'll see it's got this little nub on it. And it lines up with this notch right here. So normally, this center section does not freely spin. But when you insert this in there, 
it now freely spins and you can load up the drum. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now that I got it loaded, you notice it won't turn anymore, and you just kind of want to make sure that the rounds do freely spin, that there's no binding. Super cool though, I mean, just look at that, how it like goes around and then goes underneath. Awesome looking drum. Then you just pull that out, and there you go. There's a loaded drum. Again, one of those things you look at it now, and it's like, man, that is a horrible idea. It takes a long time to load, and can you only imagine in the trenches with all the mud and stuff getting in here at the time? But again, 100, 100 plus years old. All right, so I just got a little target set up downrange. Let's do some shooting. You know, the rate of fire, it's not super slow, but it's like the perfect rate to where you can pull off twos, threes, whatever you want, super easily. Very little recoil too. And you gotta remember it's 303, so very little recoil. Fresh mag loaded up, let's send it down range. Alright guys, well there you have it, the model 1914 Lewis gun. A sweet, sweet machine gun. You know, like I said, it is super strange, super odd, but at the same time, it's actually extremely well running and very pleasant to shoot. Very surprising, to be honest. And it's kind of funny, it's one of those machine guns where I never really was interested in owning one, but now that I own one, I couldn't imagine not owning one. You know, it's just so unique, and also if you really think about it, a huge piece of world history. So definitely a very, very cool machine gun. So anyways, I think that's pretty much all that I have for y'all. So if you like what you saw, please definitely subscribe to the channel. Check out the links down in the description below as well. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see y'all here next time.
All right, well, there you have it, the model 1914 Lewis gun.